Scott, thank you for joining us. Crawley are up to seventh in the League Two table. What a victory that is, is here at Tramier Rovers. Can I get your reflection on the game? Yeah, really pleased. I thought um, it was a, you know, a tough game and, and we scored two early goals. Um, and we, we kind of sat off after we scored, you know, and I felt that we became a little bit deep and I think we were deep on, the, on their goal. Um, and we co corrected a few things. I thought we had too many players in the back line. I think that we pushed Jay Williams a little bit higher in the second half and we became a little bit more aggressive. I think it was actually difficult conditions. You know, I think the wind was hard um, out there for the players um, and I thought it helped us probably more so in the second half. But we, we, we were a little bit more um, higher up the pitch in the second half than we was in the first half. And listen, I thought, I thought it was a really good performance. Yeah, a lot of the victories that we've had recently, we spoke about you know, being behind and coming back, today was the complete opposite. We're tuning up in sort of the first 10 minutes, so it's the ideal start. But then, as you say, when, when they get a goal back, you know, so quick, it it wasn't easy out there, was it? No, I think we probably scored too early, if I'm honest <laughs> with you. I know, I know that listen, you take it whenever you score, but um, you, know, you knew that it was, you know, still a long way to go when we, when we scored the first one and certainly when we scored the second one. But, yeah, I just felt that we could have pressed forward a little bit more. <coughs> I felt that we could have... Yeah, I, think, I, felt, I felt we could have pressed forward a little bit more after the second goal went in and I felt we just sat off a little bit and uh, and became a little bit too, uh, too deep and too, not negative in our play because I think we still made passes and still played our football, thought we were really good. Um, but listen, it's a, it's a tough place to come here, you know. I, I think that's probably only the second time that I've actually won here in my whole career. Very, very difficult place, so, um, so yeah, we're really pleased. Yeah, it is a tough place to come. We spoke a lot about that pre-match. Having gone up so early, as you say, almost too early, when they then come back and score one, you know, a lot of credit has to go to the lads not to get sucked into that because, you know, you've got the big cop end, as you say, behind that goal, you, you know, giving Tremis some real encouragement. So to then sort of, you know, keep it calm and then score the third and final goal, you know, a lot of credit has to go to them, doesn't it? Oh, the players have been brilliant. You know, listen, I, I don't have to even motivate them now. They've got, they've got the bit between their teeth like you wouldn't believe, you know. They're, they have real belief that we can we can get to where we want to get to now you know you, you speak to the lads now they're really really on it and I, I, like I say at the hotel today I did a, a meeting um, and usually at the end of the meeting I have to uh, give a, a motivational speech to kind of get them going don't have to do that at the moment if anything I'm trying to cool them off a little bit and calm them down a little bit you know they've really got the bit bit between their teeth and, and like I say this is a tough place to come but they they managed, managed moments in the game brilliantly for me um, the subs who come on, you know, the real impact as well. I thought Addy was outstanding when he come on, um, you know. And uh, listen, I'm, I'm really, really proud of every every single player in that dressing room. Yeah, Jay Williams obviously led the side today. Some very strange circumstances in the way that he wasn't meant to be here today. Unfortunately, he did pick up a bit of a knock in the week, but it meant that he was able to come back and sort of, you know, get some tests done. It was, you know, deemed he was fit to play. Obviously, <coughs> our thanks go to St Kitts for their sort of help in this as well. And, He's capped in the side to tremendous victory today and scored his first goal for the club. It, you know, over, over the last few weeks and months, he's become a seriously good player for us, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Yeah, he's been brilliant for us. And, you know, we uh, was worried about him, obviously, this week because obviously he'd gone out there. He picked up an injury uh, in, the, in the camp and um, they didn't have brilliant um, medical facilities or medical staff um, that could probably speak the language and, and really struggle to kind of, like, treat him. So... He felt that he, the best decision was for him to come home and be treated by our staff. Um, but also off the back of that, that when we got him home and we, we assessed him, we, we deemed him probably fit enough to play. Um, so we got permission from them, which we, we thanked them for that. And I thought he was a warrior again today um, and proper leader and, and, you know, a young lad, you know, captain, captain in the side um, in a performance like that, you know, real credit to him. Yeah, obviously we're speaking about somebody who scored their first quarter goal, somebody else who scored their first quarter goal, Jeremy Kelly. You know, he's come on leaps and bounds as well in the last couple of weeks. You know, when he first came in, there was a lot of starts for him. You rewarded him with a lot of starts for his good performances and then he's had to sort of bide his time. Last couple of games, he's back in the start 11. He's repaid you there, isn't he? I mean, he, a very impressive finish as well. Yeah, great goal and, you know, good performance from him today. I thought he was really good. I think he tied towards the end, which is why we made the switch. But, you now he's been really good and, you know, he's a quiet lad. Um, doesn't say loads but certainly does his business really well, so I thought he played well today. Some slightly different circumstances for you as well today, obviously with the <coughs> touchline ban, which is why we're up here. Obviously a different view for yourself, you know, is, 
I can imagine if we were on the back of a defeat, you would have been, you know, very frustrated. But it must have been in some ways pleasing to sort of get a different view and see how well your side played today. Yeah, no, but a lot of credit's got to go to my staff, you know, and, and Ben Gladwin as well as the captain and Jamie Day, um, my assistant manager, and, and Carl Aram and my, my first team coach. They they managed that down there perfectly. I was in touch with Ben Gladwin throughout the game, um, and you know I thought it worked well. I was actually really calm up here. I actually really enjoyed watching it from from up here. I was really calm. A lot calmer than I would have been if had I have been down there. I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really good, and the boys managed it. Like I said, the staff managed it perfectly for me. So no, a lot of credit's got to go to them. And Jamie Day really enjoyed his uh, his bit with the fans at the end there. So I'm pleased for him. I was going to touch on that at the end. To be fair, I mean, in the absence of yourself being able to go down there, someone sort of had to take the baton and do a couple of fist pumps. The fans were were patiently waiting, and I didn't think he was going to do it, but then he sort of just burst out at the end. And it, it's great to see, isn't it, the togetherness between you know the staff, the fans, you know everybody at the club. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, Jamie's brilliant. He's been he's been class for me. I, you know, he's um, goes under the radar a little bit, but he's he's a fantastic coach, and the lads absolutely love him. Um, but no, like I say, the staff really managed that brilliantly today. Um, and I couldn't have done it without them so um, a lot of credit's got to go to them today Yep, fans excellent again as always our next game's at home we've got our 2-2 two two ticket campaign you know we've sold lots of tickets we're approaching you know almost a sell out after a performance like that we're up to 7th in the table there's absolutely no reason why people shouldn't be getting down to the Broadfield next Friday you know these next 8 games now <laughs> they're huge aren't they yeah massive yeah well, listen we're in a great position now but we, we've got to really concentrate a long way to go still you know, a long way to go, even though we talk about there's eight games left. That's quite a lot still. Um, and we're just going to keep our feet firmly on the ground and we're going to um, make sure that we uh, attack these next games really um, aggressively but professionally as well and not, and not think that we've made it because we haven't. We've still got a long way to go. Um, but like I say, I'm really proud of everybody today. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Dan, thanks for joining us. That's another brilliant victory on the road for Crawley this season. Can I get your overall reflection on the game first? Yeah, really tough place to come try and we're away. Obviously coming in in a good bit of form and we wanted to keep it going but we knew it was going to be a really difficult day and to come away with three points after that performance, everyone there is really happy and want to keep this run going. Yeah, Scott just said in his post-match interview with us that he doesn't actually need to give the lads any more motivation at the moment. You seem to really have the bit in between your teeth and you know, you've got your rewards for that. We're up to seventh in the table now. At the moment, this it would appear that there's no stopping this team. Yeah, I think Gaffer said it before in the pre-match talk to us at the hotel and you kind of looked around at the other boys and everyone's going, right, yeah, like we're ready for it, we're doing well. The confidence is there with everyone, even the boys coming off the bench, like since they had, what an impact he had. So there's a real togetherness at the moment and yeah, look, if we could play a game tomorrow, I'm sure we would because the way we're playing at the moment, we want them to come thick and fast. Yeah, no, we certainly do and it, it's this is a really tough place to come. We spoke to the gaff about it before the match. You know, since Nigel Askins took, you know, permanent charge of them they've been one of the better sides in the league and you know where they are in the table is probably a false position as to where to where they probably will be at the end of the season and potentially next season as well so you know we can't look past that can we this is a really tough place to come and you know it makes the three points even more sweet doesn't it yeah I think they had kind of a bit of an outside shot looking into the playoffs before like a few of us said and we knew it was probably going to be one of the tougher games that we've had even though recently we've played some real good sides who are at the top end of the table we knew coming here with a especially that big wall behind them they're going to be behind them and we couldn't really afford to give them opportunities to get on top and kind of get the crowd behind them so that was really important we got the third goal at the end just to kind of make the last 10 minutes a bit more uh, comfortable for us yeah yeah as you said there there's been some really tough games played in the last you know few weeks when when we look back at them and we look at the points we've picked up you know it's very easy, isn't it, to get sucked into that, oh, if we pick up three points here, but, you know, we get a point here. But we're not doing that at the moment. We just keep picking up points where people don't expect us to. And I suppose that's the perfect way to be at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, listen, it's the crunch time of the season now. We've got eight games left. And if you kind of said it when we had, what, 13 left, it was kind of, right, if we're going to do a run, we've got to start it now because you want to finish the season as strong as possible. So, yeah, we don't fear anyone. Um, the way we play, and especially when we're playing with confidence, we'll beat anyone in this league. So... Listen, we want to keep it going as long as possible and uh, hopefully have a good end to the season. Yeah, it's been slightly different than what we've been used to in the last couple of games in the sense that, as we said to the gaffer, we've sort of been, been used to coming from behind in the last couple, whereas this time we're tuning up with inside 10 minutes. He's, he's actually said it's probably actually a little bit too early that we've gone, you know, two, two goals up. But, you know, it was great game management because after, you know, Norris scores... It, as we said to the gaffer, it would be very easy for the lads to get sort of sucked in and, you know, Tramere got, as you say, got that big wall behind them. But the game management was really good today, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we really managed it well, and especially with the fans behind them. Especially when they scored, you kind of hear them starting to get a bit behind and thinking, right, we're going to get a second here. But we managed times well in the game and 
this and I think if we had the third goal which the fourth official's given a foul for something I've never heard a fourth given a decision but I think if we got that it would have been probably a different picture overall but it's some fair play to them they got a goal back but yeah we were solid at the back and kind of kept our shape and even though they had a bit of possession we kind of dictated what they did with it and tried to when we regain it keep the ball and get a third which we did yeah most of their possessions sort of came in just on the other side of half time when they were really pushing for an equaliser. We seemed to really frustrate Tranmere today and you know that led to obviously the goal that you scored, the third goal. You know, it seemed we we just sort of frustrated them for twenty, you know, thirty minutes and before you know it we're starting to create chances again and open them up with some really nice football and, you know, just killed them off. So as you say, it's that game management again and obviously for you delighted to score another goal. Yeah, listen, we we're a really fit side. And I think we've shown that the last few games it was always kind of the second half when everyone starts to tire, we've got another gear to go and we can kind of step up. We still run defensively, but we run just as hard going forward when there's not many, much left time left on the clock. But yeah, to get another one today, which is 18th now. So yeah, I'm really happy with it and happy it was able to kind of finish off the game and get us the three points. Yeah, as you say, you would have had a goal even earlier on, but the fourth, fourth official has deemed that to be a foul, which you know people will have their opinions about. But you know that would have really killed the game off. And <laughs> you know how hard was it out there to sort of just after that to just sort of really keep the focus and you know just maintain the you know level of performance that we showed in the first 10 minutes yeah I think we knew especially once they scored as long as we keep a clean sheet from now till the end of the game we've won um, so that was kind of the message at half time especially Corey bellowing it out um, yeah so we knew just come out don't concede and we'll win this game so we knew we'd get chances later on but for us it was just about being like really compact defensively yeah, obviously the gaffer was up in the stands today, so he had a slightly different view of it than he's than he's used to. But it's a testament, as he said, to you know the staff that he got here. We looked. I think it would be easy for us to maybe look different because you know we know how vocal the gaffer is. But you know we looked no different today, did we? And you know the staff and the players, as you said earlier, have a real togetherness, and it showed today. Yeah, I think it's clear from the gaffer's message at, right at the start of pre-season from day one. This is how he wants to play. This is what he wants us to do, and he hasn't changed from that once. Listen, we've had bad periods. This season we've had really good periods and he's always kind of said the same thing, just keep following the performance and the results will come. And it's a testimony to him and his staff because that's what's happening now. So hopefully the fans are on their way home enjoying the three points. I'm sure they will be and we've got a big game coming up next Friday uh, back at the Broadway Stadium. We've got our ticket initiative going on. So we should have you know a very busy stadium, potentially even a sellout. And I suppose the message to the fans in the last eight games is, you know, keep getting behind us because we're, we're going to be in it all the way, aren't we? Yeah, listen, if I was a football fan and, and Crawley was my team, I was coming to watch every week and this was the position they're in. It's, it's an exciting time to be a fan, exciting time to come and watch football. So, yeah, listen, we really appreciate their support and we know how good of a fortress we can make the home games. So this yeah, it's an important time now. Listen, there's eight games to go. Come and enjoy it. Perfect. Thank you, Dan. Cheers.